Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really stupendous name. Yes, we gonna describe it as stupendous. Anyway, boys and girls, I am getting back on track with my story reads. It has been hit or miss. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus. However, I'm back, and I want to get right into our story for this morning. But just reminding you to get on up, take on your day in your own special way, take care of your morning routine checklist, step by step, one thing at a time, complete your processes, don't rush, don't race, everything will fall in place. All right, well, today's story is entitled Superhero Siblings by Kaloni Isis Turner, okay, and it's illustrated by uh, Nandi L. Fernandez. And this is a great book because this will help you guys as brothers and sisters and family to really be together and work together and love each other. It says, superhero siblings, while playing in their backyard, siblings Nora, Liam, and Yara unexpectedly discovered that they have superpowers. Join the newfound superheroes as they get assigned to their first mission, saving their furry friend Blackie the Squirrel on the moon. Will they make it to Blackie in time? Will their parents find out about their superpowers? How will the superhero siblings pull it all to off? <clears throat> Let's see. How they gonna pull it off? Superhero siblings, and I got an autograph from the author of the book because she was on Cadillac Square at one of our Friday markets this summer. She was on there actually several times. This was just the time I decided I was going to buy the book. And I did it. Liam, come on. It's a beautiful day. There's so much we can do. Let's go outside and play. Yara, get ready and grab your favorite stuffed dog. Finish eating your watermelon. Please don't take long. I like that this has a rhyme scheme. The book has a rhyme scheme, boys and girls. The book as a rhyme scheme. Nora held the door as the siblings ran outside to play. They jumped, laughed, and flipped. They were ready for an adventurous Saturday. They shouted hooray as they ran wild and free. There was so much to do. What would their next game be? Now, boys and girls, if you have brothers and sisters, I know you guys get to play with each other a lot. I have an idea, Liam said. Let's dig for treasures. The siblings quickly grabbed their shovels. They promised to work together as they should. Teamwork makes the dream work. Cooperation makes it happen. Together, everyone achieves more and there is no I in team. On their hands and knees, each of them started to dig. They went deeper and deeper, hoping to find something big. Nora, Liam, my shovel is stuck. Should we find out why? Maybe it's good luck. Okay. I wonder what it is. We're about to find out. Nora and Liam helped Yara remove the dirt as fast as they could. The siblings uncovered a huge box. It was made entirely of wood. Nora, Liam, and Yara looked at each other with the biggest, brightest eyes. They opened the box to see what was inside. Ooh, what is it? Ooh, look at them. What's inside, boys and girls? We don't know, but we're about to find out. Oh, wow, Liam said. This is going to be a blast. Inside of the box, they discovered three superhero masks. They put the masks on to find out if they were real. The mask activated their superpowers. It was such a big deal. Oh, yeah. Nora's legs and feet sparked like stars in the night sky. The mask helped her move like a lightning bolt passing by. She could run around the entire earth in seconds with ease. Her brand new superpower was super speed. Liam grew huge muscles. He was as solid as a tank. His brand new superpower was super strength. He could lift anything, no matter how heavy. 
His power kept the siblings safe and steady. Oh yeah, these superpowers. Oh, think of what your superpowers are, boys and girls. Yara's hands created tornadoes and her breath was ice cold. Her superpower was element control. She could change the weather to whatever she pleased. Her superpower could help save anyone in need. Through the window, their parents watched their children outside. As the siblings showed off their superpowers, their mommy and daddy smiled with pride. Their beautiful children had discovered something new. Nora, Lee, Liam, and Yara's superpowers made their big debut. Oh boy, how exciting. Now that we know our superpowers are real, we need superhero fashion to seal the deal. Nora moved as fast as light to help fashion, fashion shed to her fashion shed. She get, got creative and made everyone new superhero threads. They had the superpowers and now they had the look. It was time to save the world no matter how long it took. Oh yeah. They are on a mission and they're ready to go. All of a sudden, they heard a really loud sound. A spaceship had just come out of the ground. There was a note attached to it that told them exactly what to do. Blackie the squirrel was in trouble on the moon. They had to move quickly to rescue their furry friend. The superhero siblings were ready for their first mission to begin. And there you have it. They boarded their rocket ship and prepared to head into outer space. They buckled their seatbelts to ensure they were safe. On their way to the moon, they all looked outside. The way the stars twinkled up close left them mesmerized. Wonderful. Shortly after takeoff, they landed on the moon. Blackie was trapped in a lake of outer space goo. Before they could get to Blackie, they had to come up with a plan. They needed everyone's superpowers to conquer the task at hand. First, they needed Yara to freeze the outer space goo. That way, they could ice skate to Blackie without getting stuck, too. All right. They're working the plan. It's a good idea. Way to use those superpowers. Once they got to Blackie on the frozen solid goo, they needed Liam's super strength to break their furry friend loose. Liam flexed his muscles and punched the goo as hard as he could. The frozen goo around Blackie shattered just as they planned it would. Wow. When Blackie broke away from the ice, some acorns did too. As the acorns floated away, Blackie chased after his favorite food. Blackie was so focused on catching up with his snack, he didn't realize he was headed towards a huge moon crack. Dun, 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 bum, 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 The crack. Ooh. What's gonna happen next? I hope he doesn't fall here. Nora saw what was happening and put her super speed to use. She ran so fast that, li uh, that lightning bolts were coming from her boots. She scooped Blackie up right before he reached the crack. He was so happy the superhero siblings had his back. Yeah, because he wasn't paying no attention. He was focused on the wrong thing. You got to be careful, boys and girls. To watch where you're going. Always aware of your surroundings. They all boarded their spaceship and made their way back home to Earth. They were so excited they felt like they would burst. So they got the squirrel. Blackie is safe. And now they're on their way back to Earth. Here they come. Do, 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 do. Okay, guys, we're finally home. 
So you know what that means. We have to tell our parents about our superpowers. They are going to be so pleased. Nora, Liam, and Yara ran inside to share the big news. We have superpowers and just saved Blackie on the moon. Well, all right. Their mommy and daddy waited patiently as each child had their turn. Their parents had their own surprise. The kids would be amazed to learn. We're excited that you guys told us, and we must admit that this is nothing new. Where do you think you got it from? Mommy and Daddy have superpowers, too. Oh, yeah. Mommy and Daddy. Oh, look at that. Uh-huh. And that is the end. I like that book. Also, I remember that. Just so you know, there's a picture of the author and some information as well. Grab this book, boys and girls. I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. And now you're really ready to take on your day in your own special way, huh? Sit down and figure out what your superpowers are. Are you super intelligent? Are you brilliant? Are you super helpful? caring and loving we have superpowers and a lot of our superpowers come from our character so work on who you are and how you are wherever you are all right boys and girls i'm gonna go ahead and get off to my start of my day and i'll see you next time here on candy's cozy couch Bye bye <laughs>